WRAL Sports starts now. Sponsored by Heaster Automotive. Oh, the ACC-SEC Challenge is underway, and as of right now, the ACC has the 6-4 to four lead. Now, one of the marquee matchups in the series, North Carolina hosting the Tennessee Volunteers. Elliot Cadeau was making his first start tonight. The building was electric, and so were the results. Cadeau, early on, quick pass up to his homeboy, Armando Baycott, who had a big bounce-back game. You will see led by as many as 23. Drake May wishing that the football team started like this versus NC State. Second half, Tennessee got it as close as 6. Dalton necked 37 points. My goodness, he lit it up. But R.J. Davis and the Heels did not blink. Team high, 27 points for Davis. 192 is the final. Pat Welter after the game. The UNC players hang a lot of goals in their locker. One of them was win the battle for Atlantis. And when that didn't happen, they came home motivated and looking to send a message. 100 points against one of the best defenses in the country. I say the message received. In the Bahamas, we wanted to go there and win the championship. And I mean, coach has just been all week just challenging us. And I think today we really set the tone, especially early. I mean, later on in the game, we kind of let them get back in a little bit. But I think today really we was just trying to put the world on notice. I wanted to let them know what was coming here tonight. And even though that we returned home, that like this was going to be this was going to be a battle. And I wanted to put them in a mindset that uh, we're coming here to compete and coming here to improve and. The, the practices leading up to the game, I, I thought were really, um, really spirited, really good. Armando Baycott called this one personal tonight. Said after the way he played in the Bahamas, he was only sleeping two hours a night. 22 points, 11 rebounds versus Tennessee. Hubert Davis said, I hope he sleeps well tonight. Chris. Thank you, Pat. 